Hi, I'm Maggie Nielsen, Mrs. Average Joe Cyclist, and I'm narrating Joe's ride from the Convention Center to Granville Island across Falls Creek. As you can see, we're setting off following the Burrard Inlet to our right. There is a separated bike lane here, but from time to time pedestrians do wander in, particularly as they're traveling to and from the restaurants uh, that are on the left side. Up ahead, you can see the towers that are the newest neighborhood in Vancouver, Coal Harbor. This is an area that was again industrial lands and was reclaimed um, during the 80s and 90s and the development started to arrive shortly after that. And now there's lots of green space and the seawall is connected to the seawall with Stanley Park. Now we're in Coal Harbor and just passing by Cardero's Restaurant, which uh, is also a marine pub and fine dining. So a choice there, whatever mood you're in. And now we're traveling around the Western Bayshore Hotel Complex. Again, the bike route is separated. However, do be aware of pedestrians traveling in and out of the lane. Now you're approaching Stanley Park. Again, you've got a se separated cycling lane and as we keep mentioning, watch out for pedestrians. Up ahead, you've got a turn and in this case, we're going to turn left and travel underneath Georgia Street. As you can see up ahead, the people traveling right are going to take the route that travels the perimeter of Stanley Park. That's about a 10 kilometer ride. But we are traveling south on the east side of Lost Lagoon to reach English Bay. Traveling through this area of Stanley Park, uh, be aware that there are squirrels and geese and swans and make sure you give them lots of leeway. Particularly the swans, they have a particularly fierce bite. Up ahead, you're coming to the cyclist only tunnel and we're going to turn left just around the playground. You see the, sign, the yellow signposts on the right hand side. If you get lost, usually they can uh, point you in the right direction. Uh, we're now traveling again south towards English Bay coming out of Stanley Park. And now to your right, you're in uh, English Bay. This is a residential area, uh, the west end of Vancouver. And this route is used uh, heavily during the spring and summer by rollerbladers, runners, uh, pedestrians, as well as cyclists. And is one of Vancouver's premier beaches. Now up ahead, uh, you're coming to the intersection of Denman and Davy Streets. There are lots of uh, entertainment and eating options. On your right here is the Cactus Club. And as you can see, we passed an awful lot of cyclists that decided to stop and have a meal. Okay. 
Joe is riding this route um, midweek during the day, and as you can see, the route is fairly light. Um, weekend traffic tends to be quite a bit heavier. On your left is the Aquatic Center. The Aquatic Center is home to an Olympic-sized swimming pool, which is uh, purified with salt water, not chlorine, and also includes a deep diving pool if uh, you want to stop off for a swim. We're traveling under the Burrard Street Bridge and looking to join briefly with Hornby Street. We're going to go around the seawall and pass some lovely uh, restaurants and patios that look out over the harbour. One of the best places to sit and enjoy a sunset in Vancouver. And again, you'll see that lots of cyclists uh, enjoy stopping and enjoying a snack along the way. And not a separated bike route, so just use some caution uh, when having pedestrians in and around you. And now we've come off the seawall, just following another off-road lane until we come to Hornby Street where we'll make a right turn onto the road briefly and then travel off-road to look for the ferry. Now, as you come down this lane, you can see to your left, there'll be the rainbow sign and you can walk your bike down the pier to get the uh, ferries. Now, there's two ferries in False Creek, the False Creek Ferries and the Aquabus. The Aquabus are the ones that take bicycles. The False Creek Ferries are quite a bit smaller and only take um, pedestrians. So here comes the Aquabus and as you can see, there's a nice big bike sign on the front. And now you're on your way to Granville Island. Be sure to ask the crew uh, where they're going to make sure you don't take a scenic ride. And now you're disembarking at Granville Island, ready for a lot of the fun that ha there is to offer on this side. There is quite often performing arts, lots of food, entertainment, and um, just great sights. You can also uh, meet up with the cycling path that is False Creek North. So thank you for watching the video. I hope that you enjoy your ride and your visit to Granville Island.